Hey guys, watch Adrian Shrink here coming at you with my week two and week three update video uh, from Vertical Sleeve Gastrectomy. I apologize that I did not get a video up last week. Um, I will go into that later. Right now we will do stats. Um, my name is Adrian. I am 5'5", 38 years old. I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy on October 26, 2016 with Dr. Mark Colquitt at Foothills Weight Loss Center, Fort Sanders Hospital in Knoxville, Tennessee. When I started my journey, I was 309 pounds. I am currently 263 pounds even. Um, last time I came at you, I was 265.4. So in the last two weeks, I've lost 2.4 pounds, most of which I lost last week. Um, I did see on the scale 261.8, um, but the typical problem with... Uh, weight loss surgery patients is the poop thing and I had the poop thing. I didn't poop for a while but I did figure out what makes me poop. Premier Protein um, for those of you who can't poop and maybe try Premier Protein because it did get things moving again. I don't like the taste of it um, so I hate drinking and I usually do muscle milk um, but Premier's do have so much more protein. It's great to start your day off with 30 grams of protein. makes it a lot easier to get your protein in throughout the day. Um, so decent weight loss. I am um, very happy, not upset at all. I know a lot of people get um, a little antsy with the um, the two, three, four week stall, but uh, I'm pretty used to that with my body. Whenever I lose weight, I'll kind of slow down and stall out, usually after the first week, because like the first week I'll lose, you know, six or seven pounds. So. So what's been going on with me? I went back to work last Wednesday um, and I have been working like a dog. I have not had a day off since um, and I don't foresee having a day off until Thanksgiving honestly. I'm just so overwhelmed and so behind and have so much um, upcoming stuff that I just I absolutely have to get through. So. If I want to continue being employed I will suck it up and go to work. Um, I want to say hi to everybody. I'm very behind on videos. I literally worked until midnight last night. Um, it is almost 10 o'clock here right now and I'm just now getting home. Um, what have I been eating? I'm still on the soft foods diet. Um, I'm supposed to stay on it until December 2nd. I am going to cheat and eat, um, some turkey for Thanksgiving because technically that would be my, um, one month surgery and I would be cleared that day except that the office is closed so I won't be going in until um, Friday December 2nd so I'm gonna cheat I'm just gonna tell you right now I have actually already cheated um, I've tried turkey burger which sat really heavy I felt like I was like full up to my heart um, but it was mighty delicious. I miss meat, people. I miss meat so much. Um, and then tonight I had, um, I made a broccoli and chicken type of casserole thing. There wasn't anything in it but broccoli, chicken, chicken and cheese. It was a huge hit with the kids. It was really delicious, but I ended up giving it back. So, <laughs> um, I have been struggling with, I think honestly it's overeating, not stopping when I should. Um, you know, I will make myself a two ounce or a three ounce portion and um, I should stop sometimes, I think. And, uh, so I'm getting the hang of it, you know. Um, what else has been going on with me? I am um, taking my vitamins, doing pretty good with that, although I'm really bad about forgetting to take the calcium three times a day, so I'm generally just getting one or two doses of calcium in. Um, so I definitely have to work on that. I, um, like I said, I've just been super busy. I'm exhausted. I feel like I'm getting like, I don't know, wrinkles going on. Um, I'm kind of getting like the jolly look on my face. I really hope that that goes away. <laughs> I don't want to look any older than I already do. Um, 
this is not a really organized video and I'm just apologizing for this ahead of time. I've tried to make this video a couple of times and when I'm getting home so late, it's dark out now. I can't even do my video in the car. It's dark when I leave in the morning. It's dark when I get home. Um, yeah. Okay, so um, like I said, what have I been eating? I've eaten a lot of the ricotta bake. Um, eggs, which are just fine. Um, fish is fine. Shrimp is fine. Um, I've been eating chili. Um, Hormel has this white chicken chili right now, and that is my jam. Oh my god, it is so good. I just throw a little bit of cheese in it. It is a little bit carby, um, but that's really the only thing throughout my day that has any carbs in it anyway, so I'm not really all that concerned about it. Um, cheeses I do well with. Um, I have pretty much given up on Greek yogurt. I, I'm just sick of it. It's too sweet. Um, so I'm not really eating that. Um, milk goes down just fine. I absolutely love milk. Um, I've been doing my hot chocolate protein if I'm not getting enough protein in the day. And my plan has it where we're only supposed to eat three meals a day. We're not supposed to have a snack at all. Um, so I do kind of feel guilty when I'm sucking down the hot chocolate at the end of the day. But uh, I'd rather get my protein in. As far as water is concerned, if I'm at work, I'm doing great. Um, I talk all day long. As you can tell, I'm good at running my mouth. Uh, I talk all day long and it's it's pretty easy to get my water in. Um, if I'm at home for any length of time, I'm not as disciplined. <sighs> Excuse me, I just ate and I'm burping, which is gross and I apologize. Um, anyway, so uh, like I said, I'm much more disciplined at work about getting the water in. Um, definitely getting 64. As far as protein goes, I'm usually getting 65, um, 60 to 65. Then on carbs, I think I'm averaging about 12 a day, um, which isn't bad at all. I know that that's going to go up. In calories, um, I have like 450 calorie days, and like today I got 610 calories, if you don't count the part that I regurgitated, or if you do count the part I regurgitated, sorry. <laughs> Um, so that's been going really well. Uh, the things that I'm struggling with, uh, this is going to sound pathetic. I don't know. I'll use you guys as a sounding board. So I, I think part of it is that I can't eat meat. I feel like when I can start eating chicken and, and beef and pork and those things again, I'm not going to feel as tempted by food, I guess. And I know that it's like the holiday season and everybody's, I mean, they're bringing stuff into work, cookies and all kinds of crap. Um, I haven't eaten anything that's off plan at all. Um, like I said, the only thing I've done is cheat those two times. Um, and it was protein. <laughs> I cheated with protein. Um, but I just, like, I see people eating stuff and I'm like, oh my god, I want that so bad. Or, um, I mentally am focused so much on food, which is terrible. I know that that's bad. But I, I'm constantly writing recipes down <laughs> and trying to tweak them to make them um, more healthy. I'm not focused on desserts or anything. It's not the sweet stuff that I want. It's the savory, um... But, you know, I, there's times when I'll see Cheez-Its sitting at work and I'll think, God, just one Cheez-It, just one. And I know better. I can't have just one cheese, just one anything I can't have. Um, one of my coworkers brought in Lindor trof chocolate truffles, which are like my jam. Oh, my God, I love those things. Um, she was just apologizing all over herself. And I was like, hey, this is the real world, you know. You're going to you're gonna eat that stuff and I'm going to have to pass on it. So it's okay. Um Obviously, I know if I ate one of those, I'd get sicker than a dog, but, you know, smelling it, seeing it, watching other people eat it, it's kind of, eh. So that's really been my main struggle, um, just the desire to eat. I was sitting watching TV with my son the other day, and I, I, I literally just wanted, like, a bag of chips or just something. It wasn't that I was hungry. It wasn't that I even would have been able to eat more than a few chips. I just wanted to have something just because I was sitting there. So I'm definitely going to have to find something to fill the time. Um, my daughter and I have been doing jigsaw puzzles, which has helped, but right now 
I've got um, stress going on at work, so my neck and shoulders and back are just not up to sitting at a chair or looking at little tiny pieces doing puzzles. So, like I said, I'm definitely going to have to come up with something. Um, what else was it I wanted to talk about? Um, I don't know. I had like 50 things I wanted to talk about, and did I take notes? Nah. Why would I do that? Um, okay, so uh, I do plan on doing videos every week, guys. Uh, next week is Thanksgiving, so I will try to get a video in on Wednesday. Um, if not, I'll I'll try for you know, Black Friday. It's not going to happen. Maybe Sunday. <laughs> Um, but then once I get through this, um, stressful period at work, I should be on a weekly schedule and be a lot more consistent. I am, like I said, behind on videos and I apologize. I will get, um, my butt in gear. Uh, November, December, and February are like the three busiest months of the year for me at work. And I work uh, extra hours. I've got, I don't know, 70 hours in and I'm just exhausted and, uh, there's no end in sight. There's no light at the end of the tunnel right now. Um, not that I'm being a whiny complainer. I'm just kind of letting you know where I'm coming from. Okay, so I know I had another million things to tell you guys. Oh, NSVs. Okay. Um, so I really haven't had any big NSVs yet. Um, I, I have gone down probably a pant size, but I'm not shopping for clothes. I just, I don't see the point in it but my pants are looser which yes that's an NSV but they were looser before I had surgery um with the 30 pounds that I'd lost before surgery they had become loose anyway so uh, like I said it hasn't really been an NSV however today finally something did happen where I was like oh hey this is an NSV finally something that you can talk about on your videos that you can be happy about um, I dropped something on the floor, and normally when I bend over, it's like a big production, like, uh, and I gotta make big noises and whatever, and today I just bent down and picked it up and didn't even groan or grunt or cry or whine or think about it for 30 seconds before I finally decided it was worth going after. So that was a uh, pretty nice NSV. Alright guys, I will not hold you up any longer. This video has gone long for no reason. I apologize for my discombobulation. Um... I will get it together here really soon. Thank you so much to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much to everyone who watches. I really appreciate you. And if I owe you a response to your comment or, um, you know, if I need to watch your videos, I will get on it. Thank you guys so much.